Okay, let's get cameras up. Rolling to anomaly net and opening 3.911 at this time. We will start sweeping for fires. As you can see from the uh, scene, we had again another great flight up to the 10 kilometer apogee. We demonstrated the ability to transition the engines to the landing propellant tanks. Four and a half minutes, we are handing off to the LOX tank. We are beginning to flip to horizontal. And the white cloud, the plume you were seeing, was intentional. There is a liquid oxygen dump. We've now transitioned to horizontal and beginning the subsonic test portion of the flight, where we check out the aft and the forward flaps to hold the vehicle stability as we descend back to the landing pad. Six minutes, 10 seconds into flight, we're down beneath one and a half kilometers. We're preparing to restart two engines, flip the vehicle vertical, then transition to one engine for the landing burn. Let's get cameras up. Rolling to anomaly net and opening 3.911 at this time. We will start sweeping for fires. Well, as you can see from the uh, scene, we had again another great flight up to the 10 kilometer apogee. We demonstrated the ability to transition the engines to the landing propellant tanks. The subsonic re-entry looked very good and stable like we saw again last December, so we've got a lot of good data on flap control. And again, we've just got to work on that landing a little bit, but we'll find out uh, from the team as they go through the data. We were in contact with telemetry all the way down. So all told, another great, and a reminder, this is a test flight, second time we've flown Starship in this configuration.